This is uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Have some friends coming over. <clears throat> One of the friends is a vegetarian. So I've got this recipe, which I've never tried. But the name of the recipe is Best Vegetarian Chili in the World. Best chili in the world. Let's try it. Never done it. Let's see what it does. This is going to be the recipe for the best vegetarian chili in the world. You have one can of kidney beans strained, one can black beans strained, one can of uh, carbanzo bean strained. Uh, this is uh, two jalapeno peppers. This two celery stalks chopped. This stuff, which I totally don't get. Morningstar grillers. It's vegetarian hamburgers, but it, it's frozen. I think it's disgusting, but we're going to go with it. Then you have a 28-ounce can of peeled um, tomatoes. I have a tablespoon of salt. Tablespoon of pepper, one chopped or half a onion, three cloves of um, garlic. This is two cans, four ounce cans of green pepper. You have two uh, chopped bell peppers, cumin. You have a, I think that's a half a cup of chili pepper, and this is oregano. And I'll put all of the, there's a lot of stuff in this chili. Let me tell you, look at this. It's insane. Anyway, um, I'll put the recipe up. We'll start cooking, but this is supposed to be the best vegetarian chili in the world. I kind of agree with everything, except I don't agree with that stuff. Okay, let's get this started. We've got one tea, or a tablespoon of olive oil in there. This is our half an onion this is our garlic three cloves got that and um, we've got um, two bay leaves that go in there as well watch this cook up a little bit Okay, we've added the cumin, the oregano, and the salt. And again, we're cooking this for these onions. I'll tender. I'll tell you one thing I'm noticing so far, it smells really good. Now we've added the uh, celery, the bell peppers, and the jal jalapeno peppers. We cook this up for a while. We've added the uh, all the veggies, plus the four ounces of canned green peppers. Now we're going to order this, or put in this, um, whatever this is. It's probably made in a lab in New Jersey. But this calls for uh, two 12-ounce bags of whatever this is. It's probably made some kind of soy bean product, I hope. Still smelling good. I think you could have made this recipe without that. I think it could have just been a chili made with uh, the beans, but we'll see. Okay, we added the, um, I guess, soybean based artificial meat. So now, this is 28 ounces peeled tomatoes. Okay. I'm going to stir this in. It's hard to stir and film at the same time. And um, so here's our uh, quarter cup of pepper or uh, chili powder. 
This is one tablespoon of black pepper. Mix this up. Cook a little bit. Okay. Now we add the beans. Carbonzo. Com, com, carbonzo beans. First ones. And here we got our kidney beans. Have our black beans. Stir all this up. A lot of beans. What a veggies. That's a lot of chili is what it is. That's right. I give this to my son. He's a vegetarian kind of person. He'll eat meat if he kills or hunts the animal. Other than that, he won't eat meat. I don't even know what you call that. He's a hunting vegetarian. Okay. Got that in. Now, last. Maybe we put in corn. And we're going to bring this whole thing up to a boil. Then we're going to put it on simmer or low for 45 minutes. Then it should be chilly. And when I uh, do this, or when it's done, I'm going to probably put cheese on top of it, which a vegetarian or a vegan may or may not do. Here we go. We cooked it a little longer. We cooked it, um, oh, 50 minutes, not 45. And like I thought, all the veggies cooked down, the moisture came out of the veggies, and, it's, you know, it's not thick anymore. It's, it's very, very... Uh, a lot of liquid to it now. And um, while it was cooking down, I would get in there and do really good stirs like this. So all that spice and stuff I put in there. Now let's taste it. Here's a piece. Let's see what it tastes like. That's tasty. The um, I thought it'd have more of a kick because all the peppers we put in there and the jalapeno and the chili, but that's just about right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to serve probably with uh, hot bread, serve it in bowls, and then maybe make uh, some guacamole, chips, stuff like that. Anyway, turned out really good.